In this video series, we've heard about how a number of drugs work. And those drugs span a whole range of diseases. And pharmacology has really been at the center of the development and use of those drugs for those diseases. But you might equally be aware that for a number of patients, these drugs don't work. So some patients become ill and the drugs that we currently have available to us don't make them better. And there are two ways really that the pharmacologist is involved in, in addressing this issue. First of all, we can think about discovering new drugs. So we can develop new compounds to treat diseases. And that might involve working in the laboratory using pharmacological technology to define new targets for therapies and to develop those therapies towards clinical practice. It might involve working with new classes of compounds or newer families of compounds, and one of these you've already heard about, so Herceptin, the drug used to treat breast cancer, is an example of a biotherapeutic type drug. And these are a relatively newer family of drugs, and pharmacologists are working on developing those drugs as therapies. And these are very powerful drugs because we can aim these biotherapeutics, which are larger molecules, biological molecules, aimed at specific genes and proteins that are active in cells and tissues to cause disease and that's very powerful technology. There's also a lot of work that goes on in pharmacology to build on the knowledge of small molecule drugs. Again, you've heard about some of these, paracetamol and ACE inhibitors, for example. And we can look at how we can develop new compounds along these lines in the laboratory and move towards clinical testing and get effective drugs available to patients. Another approach, and a related approach, is to think about how we can use current drugs better. And this gives rise to this idea of personalized medicine. So personalized medicine is the idea of individualizing treatment to individual patients. And we know this because whilst a certain patient can express a certain disease or become sick, everyone's very different. So we all express different genes and different proteins that define us as individuals and can define the type of disease that we have. And we can now develop therapies aimed specifically at genes and proteins in individual patients. And again, you've heard of an example of this in this series, Herceptin, which again is a biotherapeutic, but this drug is targeted at a particular protein expressed in breast cancer called HER2. But some patients will have breast cancer and not express HER2, and so they'll be given a different therapy, and that's personalized medicine. And so we're now moving into a more complex era of pharmacology, where we need to develop and discover new drugs, and we also need to develop technology that will enable us not only to discover new drugs, but to design those therapies for individual patients and do personalized medicine. And pharmacology really sits at the core of this process.